Go ahead. Okay. This is about Jimmy Holocaust literature. Wow. It's input what is Holocaust and what was adopted later. And the end. Who was and the end of the Holocaust. Okay, this is a symbol of Nazi. Okay. And this is an example of Holocaust literature. There are fiction, fiction include T Sorry and this map of concentration camp. This is a model. This is gas chamber and this office. Okay. This is Jill's uniform in the boys' style pajama. Jill's will wear this shirt. This photo of Holocaust. Now, this is the students of Jill's. And this intense. Next is example of Holocaust literature in non-fiction. Non-fiction, this is a autobiography. And and Frank, and Frank in her diary. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And this is model. This is a hiding place we call secret and Nick. Yeah. Mm. He hide in the secret and Nick to about two years. Hmm. Okay. Bouquet, bouquet for intent, and this is all of hiding place. Okay. Yeah. And this is a food situation because they have to hide in hiding space in two years because we sold the food in a that and a shop. In hiding place, we will have eight people in the secret and neck. This is a main cause. Of them, and this is a photo in about Holocaust, the situation, the event, the big steam. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is all of session A. Next to session B. Where? Where session B? Yeah, this Over there? way. Okay. Let me get all these. Potatoes with jumping. I could eat some of that. You have? Huh? That looks good. Not this. I don't like bubble wood. That looks good. Potato kubo. I could eat some of that. Oh yeah, that'd be delicious, man. Brown bean, okay. Thank you. Okay. What? Start. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Station B. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sandipa Sangkong. Uh, I am your agenda. As you know, our exhibition is about Jewish Holocaust literature and we will bring you back to the nightmare of Jews, Jewish through our exhibition. Okay, follow me, sure. <laughs> this is first station and they would like to introduce to you. Okay. Uh, okay, this is about Jewish Holocaust literature. Uh, the information here uh, show how the Holocaust happened during World War II. And it became the inspiration to for the Holocaust literature to be written. Okay. okay, this strategy inspired the author to write about the Holocaust literature. Uh, some some author worked by their experiences.
start at Anne Frank and Erie Resale. Anne Frank, she wrote the Holocaust Untitled, uh, The Diary of a Young Girl. And, and Erie Resale, he wrote the book Untitled Name Night. Okay. And there are two categories about literature. First is non-fictional books and next is fictional books. And I would like to give you for an example. Example of fictional books are at the boy in the sniper pajamas. John Boy. Uh, he, he was the author. Okay, and next the reader and the girl. The girl they left behind. Okay. And the diary of a young girl. The boy in the sniper pajamas. And you would like to expand about the diary of a young girl and more information for you. Okay, uh, the diary of the young of a young girl, or you also known as uh, the diary of Anne Frank, uh, uh, is a non-fiction literature, and the boy in the spy pajama is fiction literature, and we have to we have a simple uh, form the book. That uh, at bank writing, uh, such as uh, on twenty first August nineteen forty two, uh, Mister Cooper told it would be better to have book cash built in front of the entrance to our hiding place. Uh, and next one, a my will visit to know about the history of the online on 29 September 1942 uh, she wrote about what when her family and the one that has to buy in the room of this degree and next next In November 1942, uh, she wrote about an eight person who was taken into hiding with them. On 19 July 20, uh, 19, during 1943, uh, she wrote about bomb on Sunday in the North Amsterdam. And on 22. May 1944, she wrote about Jews and immersion, liberation on and freedom will come someday and wrote about fighting this law on difficult war. Hello, welcome to uh, the main character on the, the boy in the side by the mask. You will see. Uh, you will see them. Um, they are more dramatic and more uh, of cinema dealing with every emotion subject, but still deal with the horror. If you uh, do, you want to take a photo? You can sit here and take a photo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He is Hitler. Hitler was born in Spanwood, Australia. He was a German politician and leader of the Nazi party. Around Hitler, he was a chancellor of Germany in 1950. He was a Uh, I was the youngest of the Nazi and 
this camp uh, located in southern Poland. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's in Italy. Uh, the the international uh, center for what they call what they call a uh, bachelor. Mm. It's evolved, it's evolved into a network uh, of camp where Jewish uh, people and also perceived in me. Okay, and next. Okay, and this part talk about gas chamber. <laughs> okay. okay, chamber are instruments for human or other animal movement with thoughts consisting of cell chamber of toxic gas or exposition. The most used substance hydrogen cyanide, carbon dioxide, and monoxide. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And next. Next. Hello. Hey. Okay. Welcome to this station. The uniform of you when they stay in the concentration camp, and this is a mock of Jews clothes. We have shoes, clothes, especially bag and necktie. We would like to show about Jewish like original people before they stay at concentration camp and next part. I would like to solicit, explain uniform in the concentration camp for you. Okay. Hello. Uh, I would like to I would like to let you know about uh, the uniform. In small camp, you will style up their own civilian clothing and fall to wear uniform. Uh, this uniform was patterned with blue style. As you can see, this is uh, some of the uh, uniform that we show you. And the uniform usually had its personal number and uh, num uh, in uniform number show you the tinkle, uh, the yellow tinkle, and political partner will let tinkle. Yeah, that you can see. And uh, uniform of you that have to uh, armband. Yes. And these of some actually of you that before they went to the concentration camp. Yes. Yeah, it did it go. Real go. Yes. <laughs> mm, you cannot be there. Yeah, and Mr. Santipap would like to let you know. Okay. Thank you, you for coming here today. And I hope that you got information quite a bit and the station see you over there have a good day mm -hmm. Bye -bye. okay
This is a cat to kill. Jill. Jill, yeah, to kill the Jill. He slow to kill the Jill. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cyclone. One trucking, lagging. Boss on. Wow. They use fire can to kill, to kill uh, people. Two thousand people. Yeah. Two thousand people. Yeah. How many? How many? Days. How many lives did it kill? <laughs> life, you know, life in your head, how much? Yeah. A lot? Mm -hmm. Million. Million. Hey, life. Hair. Hair cut. Hair of Yeah. Huh? You cut the. <laughs> <laughs> and is it process law? Oh. Mark Jill. Mm. Really? Mark of Jill. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And this is a nasty body fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>